What I was saying was like that you and I. Yeah, back to part two. Go ahead, we saw. Okay, fuck you, do that. <laughs> that Tom, you and I basically just kind of finished up collecting the items that people wanted to, said our goodbyes, and headed out with the rest of the camp so that they could get on with the cleansing. Cool. All right. Smiley, are you ready for this? Hell yeah. All right. You die, I'll fight you. <laughs> the claps and the tent just kind of like opens up at the very top until like it nice little skylight uh, from the heavens to descend that cage drops down right in front of Smiley the fire pit just kind of with the logs kind of just flip all around it to make a uh, ritual circle they open up the gate oh uh, do you want to take your weapons in with you and everything or would you like to leave them out here you, you might want, want to leave your magical naked. stuff out with us. I only have one ma- magical thing, and I will only trust Barrel with it. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> she knows how to handle magical objects. Smart. All right, I'm going to take whatever you're giving me. It's the, um, let me think what it's, it's called, a chronolometer. Oh, okay, okay. The weird thing, gotcha. That's, that's the weird thing. That's the weird thing. Right. Um, I would like to take my weapons in with me. Okay. <coughs> I try it in. Is this, and I'm just going to verify with the shaman, is this the same kind of cage like we had where it's going to take this, up all the magic? This is the one that was delivered to us by Typhon. Right, but did he leave any instructions? Is this one of those cages that's going to, like, if I try to heal her when she's in this cage, is it going to make, make it null? I'm assuming so. He said that this one is identical to the one that was last used on Iris. That's, he said you would know what it means. Is yeah, it going to do anything it. to my weapons? That's why I said if you have anything magical, you're going to want to leave them out because it's going to null them. I've just got lots of swords. <coughs> magical you swords? Lots of swords. We're going to hold on to for you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Actually, you know what? It's a strange answer, but I'll go with it. I'm going to leave my weapons out. I don't want anything to happen to them. All right. Is if there I come out of this... In the absence of Talbot... Is there a chance that I could do an Arcana check that if I wanted to do a spell on her before she got in there to see whether it would stick to her or not? You can safely assume out of prior experience that will... Whatever I do, just kind of... Yeah, well, once the moment she steps in, it's going to start. Okay. Uh, so this is how it will go. We are going to do three different rounds of three different checks. Uh, your first check is the best two out of three of your charisma saving flow. Okay. That means our roll and your roll. It's the best two out of three. Uh, so whoever wins wins. <laughs> Next, we will do a roll off, a flat roll, which will be done during the separation process from you into whatever item is chosen. Uh, the third roll will be a percentage roll. Um, will be determined who the high wins best two outs are. Each one is the best two outs are. Gotcha. <coughs> now, if you fail two of the categories, uh, you auto lose. Which oh, means okay. I win. Okay. You do not want me to win. Okay. But you do want to be honest, because if I find you lying, oh. I will make that an auto loss. I won't lie. I can't do that. I'm so now, look up your character, know what your saving throw is for your charisma. For is charisma? It, correct, because this is going to go off of your magic. Okay. <laughs> so now for you, I will let you decide what order we go in. So out of three things I said, which order do you want to go in? Do you want to start with a flat roll off, the percentile, or your saving throw? Saving throw. So you want to start off strong. No, should I not do that? I'm not giving you any. Because the, it's going to, the, the third one is going to be your hardest one, right? Oh, so. Can't yeah, be. Whichever one you have the best advantage in, that should be whichever one you save. Oh, I'll save that one then. No, we will still do, if you win two out of three, we will still do the last one. Okay. Um, just to see how well that goes. Okay, wait, let me, because I don't know. Which one should I do last? Like the charisma saving. Whichever one you have the biggest bonus. For. Okay, so it's charisma. And what 
what were the other two bonuses? So it is one of the categories is you create the second one that would be based off of your magic. Yeah. The second one is a five percentile roll. So that would be this one. Right okay. <coughs> yeah. Um, and the third one is going to be a roll off of d20s to see who gets the highest no so the, bonus. So the percentile and the flat roll are complete like they're chance. Just, they're chance. luck. Yeah, they're just rolls. It's you against him. They're just rolls. Okay. The saving throw is the only one where you're going to get a bonus. Okay. Yeah, I'll save that one for last. The saving throw one for last. Okay. Uh, now, are you rolling physical dice or do you need your... The computer one. Okay. Should I not do that? No, you do whatever you want. I don't she enjoy like, rolling. She doesn't uh, I don't that's, like that's, that's digital dice. On her. That's okay, me. Okay. That's me. That's just anytime I hear anyone say I want to do digital, I'm like, nah. Okay. So, two... To be fair, that's because you are a rock lady. To be fair, I need to make sure that I am also accountable for my roles and I don't cheat. I'm going to have this open in view of Dom so he can check and verify for me. You're fine. <laughs> I will watch you in your roles through d and Yeah. Um, and Ramon will also be next to you to make sure that what you roll is what you roll. Okay. Let's... Um, because this should be... The game log, right? Yeah. Uh, Ramon, can you go ahead and just roll me a percentile so I make sure I know that it is working properly? I will roll you a percentile. <laughs> Perfect. Where did it show up? Oh, mine is slow. Oh. Oh, okay, because right now I have all question marks. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Wow. Straight 50. Eh? Bye, Travis. <laughs> right. Good. Um, so the first one we do, um... You go first. I'll go second. You go first. I'm going to do it like that. That's the <coughs> second one. I'll go first. You go first. And then we'll whoever say that. Now, by any chance, if you want to risk going three out of five, you can. But it will make the other ones harder. <laughs> As in, I may now get advantage on my next roll. Okay. Which you will not. Or I can choose to go disadvantage on you. Okay. Which I can, I have the option as well to do it in reverse. Okay. So which will give you the option of rolling with advantage or have me rolling with disadvantage if I want to increase the chance of me winning. Okay. So far so good? Yep. Okay. <laughs> so this just doesn't make sense. Yeah. It's just pretty much rolling off and see what happens. Yeah. Perfect. Now, at any time, if you want to stop, you can. Okay. But there will be consequences. He's just trying to freak you out. <laughs> I'm working. fucking clear. <laughs> He's just trying to freak you out. <laughs> because like what Busa and Talbot will have to do is sit with trying to get in your head. head. There is a possibility of you losing. Which for me means a gluttony yeah. comes out, leaves you alive, but now has his own essence. And just flies yeah. off and... And do the whole catches. duel thing like we did with uh, Cyrus. <laughs> OB, Glutton takes over your body, and now Therese is now a playable character. That would be sad for her. Now, before you step in, we still need to decide what is Glutton going into. Do you now, you do have an option, since you heard what they can do with theirs. Do you want to put Glutton into your weapons? Um... A whole pouch of rocks. <laughs> they can be rocks? I have a whole pouch of rocks. I got a crystal that held my soul somewhere. <laughs> so technically speaking, yes, you could put gluttony in a rock. What happens if I put it in my weapons? If you got a magic weapon. So, it's in character, you don't know. Okay. Out of character, it may provide an advantage. Or it may provide you with... More control of gluttony. Okay. Or it may be a higher risk of gluttony being free now anytime you get a crit or net one. Alright. I'll just put it in the rock. Okay. Is it going to be a normal rock, special rock, magic rock? Um, You're trying to hold a sin in something. Well, I'm going to go through my bag of stones that I have. Um... I think, what color tiefling are you? Red. You're red? Um, I would probably go for a jasper okay. or a carnelian. 
Those are both red stones. Okay. Um, and I also have, um, <coughs> I have a jewelry, because of my background stuff, I have the jewelry making kit. So whatever stone we make it into, I'll probably fashion it into a ring or something for you to wear. Ooh, okay. But all of my oh, stones yeah, are magical. Yeah. They're just magical to you, though. Oh, I passed my magic through them. So, yeah. Now, I could, in that case, would you like to expend spell slots to re, uh, not re, uh, reinforce the quality of this? Rock? I probably would, yeah. Because if, if, my, stone if my stones... Good. If my stones are magical because I pass my magic through them. Um, now, how many are you... Hold on, I gotta check which ones I've used. How many, what slots? Yeah, that's it? why I'm checking which ones I've used because I know I, <coughs> I spent one doing Zone, Zone of Truth, Truth and then I also... It's Shield of Faith, right. Okay, I didn't do anything else. That's one second and one first. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and... Because I really want this to work. I don't want you to get hurt. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take one of my thirds... Okay, so one-third. Uh, God, I need to get a piece of paper. Uh, I want to write this down. Need paper? Uh, if you want to keep track. Yeah. I'm going to take one of my <coughs> thirds, and then I'm going to take two of my firsts, so that should give me a fifth-level spell slot, which is the same level I would use for greater restoration. Perfect. Yeah. So now... Okay, Just so using that to reinforce... <laughs> um, I'm good. I'm gonna give you carnelian because it's kind of like a see-through stone, Ooh, whereas jasper is more of a solid one. Okay. So. So yes, you're using what a third. Carnelian. A uh, third and two firsts. Okay. So fit five all together, five levels. So. The thundering. Yeah. It is a supposed tornado to warning. rain. It's a tornado warning. Yeah. Is it a tornado warning? Mm -hmm. oh. It's a tornado warning right now. Fun. How am I supposed to drive home? Very slowly. It is. He wouldn't get barred with traffic three, anyways. Three, <laughs> Spring break traffic has been horrible. Okay. Catherine called out of work today because she left the house and it took her 20 minutes to get from Bass Lake to the first red light heading to 192. It took so her almost 20 crap. minutes. So she just, she called me. She goes, you're not going anywhere, right? I said, no. And she's like, great. I'm coming home. I said, if work. She goes, I called out. What <laughs> is your DC? Um, of a fifth Seven, level spell. Uh, DC, oh, well, it should be 17, because that's my wisdom okay. thing. Mm -hmm. Alright, so just want to be very clear. You are giving it a DC 17. Okay. So, if Gluttony still has power left, all Gluttony needs to do is beat a DC 17, since you made it a fifth level spell. Um, well, it doesn't matter how many levels I give it. It's 17 regardless. Because then it's spell level plus Nope. Right. No, it's uh my DC is my Dex plus my or my Wisdom, Wisdom plus my, whatever because I'm a Wisdom caster. So it's my spell spell casting modifier. Yeah. So, eight eight plus your proficiency plus your spell casting. Yeah, that modifier. all that. So it's just seventeen across yeah. the board. Would you like to put more into it to see if you can increase the DC? I mean, I've already given it a third and two first. That's five level. That's yeah. five slots. I really don't think I can give it more than that. You can try. Well, because if I do that, I'm not going to have a whole lot for healing her Correct. at the end. So I'm, I'm trying to. The to well, because like, I don't, I don't have anything. Oh, shit. Give her another third. I haven't used any of those today. <laughs> so we'll do another third. So another that's third. six, seven, eight, eight slots. All right. So that one. Well, I'm up to DC 20. Cool. You comfortable with that? No, but it'll it's better than 17. Okay. I can't I can't do anything <laughs> to add to that because any spells I put on you now are just going to dissipate as soon as you get in the box. Uh, KT, would you like to add any key to it? I am going to dump four key points into it, okay. into whatever we're doing. So I'm gonna put my hands on whatever. We're so right doing. now we're reinforcing my carnelian stone. All right. That we're gonna trap the soul in, or the the demon into. I am going to hold on to the stone, clutch it real close to my chest, speak a mantra, in some kind of foreign language I haven't decided yet. It's so maybe it's an ancient mantra. I don't fucking know. And give it back. It's now I've dumped four key points into there. Okay, which will make the DC twenty four. Uh, as you guys do this, uh, the shaman will come up with a very, like, shiny, 
um, what seems to be arcane um, water and had just some dipped in it. Um, let it sit there for, we'll say, about an hour or so, since That's you do have time, there's no rush here. <coughs> and drop. And as you pull it out, it just looks like the soap is with the power of the vine and key. Just nice and solid. Okay, and we did that for an hour? Yes, that would, you know. Um, because I have the memories of doing this with Iris, kind of, um, do I remember, if, is there anything we do outside of you guys doing the rollies? Um, if you would like to assist, um, her, you can. It would just be how much slow slots you want to give up, or how much key you want to give up. Um, this will maybe at times slightly give her an advantage, um, but also at the same time, the risk is now you are connected to the ritual. If anything goes wrong, let me have a clear pass to you. But, since I'm outside of the cage, my magic would hold, right? As long as you don't get close to it yet. Okay. Great. So you guys can be at different like different points of the cage, and then as long as you funnel your key and divine into it, mm-hmm. uh, you can't be. Cool. Uh, oh, well, yeah, Gangris is in here, but we'll save Gangris for Talib. He did some stuff. And who's that? Depending on how. Alright, so if Gluttony <laughs> gets trapped, if he to break out Gluttony needs to pass a DC twenty four check to break the stone. Uh, which would be hard. But yeah, that's always doable in time. That's if he does break out. Um so so, is that a one time check or is that something that's gonna be happening behind the damn screen for a while? Behind the screen. Uh so <laughs> since um That doesn't make me feel better. <laughs> This English is not here. Um, would we like him to dump his magic into it to increase the DC? Dump it all in! Yeah. He doesn't really use the smite, so might as well. Yeah, yeah. well, because... Actually, if, so he, if he dumps his smites in, I might keep my third level back. Just to... How many smites does he get? Uh, let me check. That's a fantastic question. Oh. Oh, I don't like I don't like using other people's magic them. when they're not here, but he right here he's using his mind. Well, <laughs> We're gonna sleep before he gets here. <laughs> That's true. Hopefully. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to sleep before we do whatever we do with your shit, so. Find <laughs> smite. <laughs> Technically, he has oh, it's based on his spells. That's, yeah. Uh, he has four first level spells, three second level spells, two third level spells. And All of it. I say, I don't want this freaking thing getting out later. Oh, if it's traveling also, with us. She was one of the only ones that was there when he was trying to cage, so I think Gabriel also feels like he owes a debt to get to us. I need to see what he did on his character sheet. Well, you have, a, you have a long rest. Well, yeah, but I just gotta make sure he wrote it down correctly. Because he forgot to tell me that he wasn't going to be here today. Bad him. I don't know how to read it to. Is it all written in Dwarves? Is, <laughs> Is it written in Vettelkin? No, it's just, uh, no, it's I don't written. know what to look at. I don't think he wrote down his spells. Hmm. Or Which would make sense because he doesn't ever fucking use them. Nah, he always forgets. Yeah, he hasn't written them. Alright, so we'll go based off the one in D&D Beyond then. Yeah. Okay, so that's two thirds. I uh, used to put it right up there if you want. So two thirds. Oh, I hate thunderstorms. So that's six. One of my irrational fears is. Would you like to hold Is it a pretzel? A I thought it was a baguette. Oh, a baguette. Wee wee baguette. Would you like to hold my <laughs> baguette? <laughs> I, see, see, I'm the exact opposite. I live for thunderstorms. I'm like, yeah. So the DC right now is... Hey, damn. 33? 33. Holy crap. With that, Gingris, again, he's in it, but if things go wrong, because he can still have his divine sense in it, 
Uh, he has nothing to defend it, so. Well, he's got us. If it goes sideways, he will probably get possessed by gluttony because he's unfortunately he is a lot stronger than you due to his divine capabilities. Yeah. Um, that's if it goes that route. Uh, yeah. But if you're able to close the gluttony into this rock, we got it. Uh, the DC is 33. That is really good. So I have faith in us. Hold on. I have a lot more faith in a DC 33 than I do a DC 24. Also, this is your yeah. yeah. I was like, what I mean, him? do. To to put to put it into perspective, my intelligence saving throw was a natural nineteen, and me pumping stuff into it to get to a thirty-one. Yeah. Yeah, like my, my strength save, even with a magical item, with advantage, even on a nat twenty, I can only hit thirty-one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I can Slide, hit thirty-one. Are you ready? I win. Yes. Hey. <laughs> right. Slide steps in. The door closes. Um. The ground and the caves light up with this druidic magic and smiley you just go into your mind my eyes roll back in my head. eyes roll back your hands on the cage um but first check go ahead and roll me a wisdom saving throw this is not part of the three okay so right where it says whiz right there next to the saving throw you can yeah, just click that oh i like that die I got 12 12 Alright, so, um, finally, you're just, again, back in. Uh, you're just, seems like, in this coffee shop. Just you, having a nice cup of coffee. Or tea, whatever, various drinks, just by yourself. We'll say you're outside the coffee shop. Kind of like in this, uh, very Perry type, but, like, medieval times. Okay. <coughs> Is that medieval no, no. times? Right. And everything. There is just the kind of person who would uh, just get a full and, coffee mug full of espresso. Right. Mm -hmm. You're just, you're enjoying the view, nothing's wrong, you're like, what was I doing before this? Ah, it doesn't matter. You guys, on the other hand, uh, here, oh, well I guess it's not working, you guys can let me out now. Nope. Heard that before. Um, what are you talking about? Barrel, it's me, serious. Mm-hmm, sure is. Can you guys let me out? Will not. Absolutely not. Um, Why not? Just gonna, because I'm farther back, I'm, and... I'm hoping you can take care of yourself in this <laughs> situation, this scenario. I am keeping an eye on you because I'm the only one in the room that's been part of this particular ceremony. But I am watching Gangrith. So Gangrith <laughs> is... I have nothing magical about me, <laughs> I guess. No, no, it's just that in the sense that, like, I would assume you have enough intelligence ah. to realize this is a trick versus... Ah. Gangrith, who's been in prison in the cage and, you know, has not been in this particular scenario, is like... Yeah, I get you, I get you. She says she's okay, let's let her out, and I'm like, Okay, mm. as long as you don't make me roll for it, I'm good. Fuck. KT, can you please let me out? I'm fine. Uh... It seems like I can't even activate gluttony for some reason. I look at everyone else. Nah. You said your eyes went black? Yeah. Is that normal for you? No, because I have silver eyes. Right, cool. So, yeah, KT, as long as her eyes are not silver, I don't... I said that out loud, but... <laughs> Do we have yeah. line of sight on her? Uh, we can see her all so doing this? So, I put you guys in, like, a square format. So, whoever's in front of her will have one in the back. Well, Gangrish is in the back. Okay, I just wanted to make sure... is in the front, so it'll be up to you two to determine who's front and who's back. Okay. Um... So we're just in a square around her, essentially. Uh, square, and obviously there's a circle, but... A squared yeah. circle. Squared. We're in a ring around her. We're, we're in a... Squares make a circle. <laughs> no. I'm going to follow right. along the edge of the circle um, so that I'm nearish to Gangrith. I want to be next to Gangrith. So you're unable to move once oh, you're planted. Okay. Planted. All right, well, I know that. Yeah. So KT would be the closest to Gangrith, which yeah. you guys would be at least 10 to 15 feet apart. <laughs> yeah. okay. It was me. <laughs> I don't think I will. But Kiki, we've been traveling together for quite some time. Yeah, but I don't think I will. You haven't really convinced me of anything. You just said, oh, hey, it's not working. How, how can I convince you? I don't know. You're asking me to give you pr to show you how to give me proof? Well, I, I, I thought you were just taking out my word. 
Can we see anything going on with like the runes that are on the cage? Oh, they're still active. They're still active. Normally, I would take your word on things, but there is magic shit about, and I don't do magic shit. Well, you suck. <laughs> and you blow. Excuse me, I haven't done that in a year. Oh, God. Just a year? <laughs> Gluttony is as bad okay. as lust. <laughs> It's like, what is I mean, <laughs> are we sure this is gluttony or is this? I'm about to say, I feel like this is the same one that had Iris. This is lust. Gluttony has Iris. I'm glad. Listen, listen. Are we sure? It's still gluttony if you're glut goblin. <laughs> yeah, finish that sentence. It's still gluttony goblin. if you're cock goblin. Cock. Would you prefer cock goblin or goblin cock? Which one you prefer? <laughs> I, I like cock goblin. I like cock goblin. I, I would prefer a coke, a fry, and a cheeseburger. I prefer goblin cock. Hey, that, well, that, that, uh, uh, I would say, well, you guys are no fun. No. <laughs> I'm no. Not <laughs> At the risk of the room. Right, bye, been there, been there. Uh, Travis, I'm not going to leave you out. I'm going to post it. Uh, Alright, Siri, go ahead and make me another wizard. I wonder so. if they've made a <laughs> cock goblin monster. Probably. Ten. Or goblin cock monster. You're having a lot of time. It's a flat roll for Why is it a f- Oh. <laughs> she has no bonuses to wisdom. We have no bonuses to wisdom. You know what? I'll go ahead and do a charisma one. Oh, what one? I, I Charisma. So go over right okay. The one that's plus five. Bit. The one you have all the bonuses in. <laughs> Eleven. Get <laughs> fucked. So she's having a wonderful time. Yeah, you're having a wonderful time. <laughs> great time. <laughs> you're drinking my coffee. Yeah, you're your coffee. Uh, someone shows up. Very handsome. The light blue starts flirting with you. It's everything. Cool. It, it's, the, it's the human version of Pusta. <laughs> oh, my God. I the a little purple and everything. Uh, and I just told her, you know, have what tieflings were would find attractive of his other tieflings. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I guess? I don't know. That's so okay. She starts to talk to you, get to know you a little bit. Nice forms. Uh, outside, um, we will, KT, make me hmm? a wisdom saving throw. Lux is good since the wisdoms. But I'm bad since the rolls. I the rolls the sevens. Fuck. <laughs> what did? <clears throat> I'm gonna die. Probably. You know that's my best stat too. Yeah, that's why I'm like. Uh, <laughs> Maybe so I should as, use real dice. Yeah, probably. At this moment, you barrel can tell a little um, of what and magic is kind of making its way slowly towards KT. Okay. Yo, I'm getting He's hungry. Like, Smiley is not in control at the current moment. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of throw a spell slot at it to try to shove it back. Uh, to AKT, sure. Yeah. Uh, just a first level, just to like slice it before it gets to it. Uh, but with advantage. Trav, what did you write? <laughs> like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> I will give Travis advantage on his first roll. <laughs> uh, 21. 21? All right. So with a little like boost from barrels, all that you're easily able to just push it back. No, I'm not hungry anymore. My ass. KT, that's not nice of you. <laughs> Barrel, keep to yourself. Now. Yeah, because it was a spice rack. Wait. But now it's a dice. You know rack. me, I like to be the center of attention. <laughs> yeah, don't I know it? Oh, come on, what's the worst? Just let me have the body. We'll go on our merry way. You don't even like this one. Well, for one, I like her quite a bit. Uh huh. I do. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> you give me truth over me. I won't devour your magic, I promise. Right. I'll go on my merry way. Let me out the cage and I'll go on my merry way. No. <laughs> Why not? We've been through this before, right? Yeah, we have been through this before, and you just about out. killed my friend, so I'd like you not to do that anymore. To be fair, your friends are pretty dickish. This is true. I'm right here. Okay. You're not right there. <laughs> hey. This is true, which is why I like them so much. Like I don't think I'm a people. dick. Well, look, my family's like super sweet. It's a little smothering just sometimes. So sometimes it's nice to have the sarcasm. 
It would be this one and... Boots on You just hear Boots on laughing from like miles away. <laughs> oh shit, is the eye ring still on? Like I thought I could have done that. How long is this? You let me out? I told your family, but you... No! I left home to get away from my family. Okay. That's an eight. Look, I don't want them getting hurt. I don't want them here with me. They're safe and they're mad. How about you just sit in the cage... Until we exercise you from yeah, my friends. I don't like that. <laughs> Are you Maybe good, Chad? I'm, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm fashioning this really pretty stone for you. <gasps> how about, how about, look, how about I take the stone and put Sirius in it? No, I would like Sirius to wear the stone. I want you in the stone. Don't you think you would look <laughs> so beautiful inside this stone? No, I would. Everyone feel- would just desire to have you. You'd be passed along. You'd have so many different bodies to pick from. They just pass you from person to person to person to person. Want to make a devil's deal? I don't want to make a devil's deal. I want you to go <laughs> into this stone <laughs> and I'm no. trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. It's not a deal. I don't need to make a deal with you. We're going to put your soul into this pretty rock and then this pretty rock's going to get made into a ring. Now, hopefully, hopefully, you know, my group can dispose of this ring, but there's also a chance that it won't get disposed of. So there's a there's a good chance that you're going to get passed on to somebody else, and then you'll have another I chance. I'm not a common whore. You a help. You were in Iris, so I'd like to agree you're to disagree. A lot here. I'm not. I knew Iris pretty well. Wait. <laughs> you still have your weapons on you, right? No, I she gave her weapons to K2. Ah. That's what <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay, fine. How about this? Oh. Ah, damn. Nice yeah. fucking try, bitch. Like, <laughs> See, we've done this before. Look, this is a really good deal. Yeah, there's a chance. There's a chance that What's this group RPG? of fuck ups that we're all here <laughs> won't actually hey, destroy the rings. I'm not. Kt. A what did I do? Hey, how about my put me in Kt's fake leg. Put you in the peg leg? Yeah. You don't want to be in a peg leg. You're going to be I on the ground all the time. Think of the germs. It's not a peg leg you can drink out of. Oh, can it? Can it? What? Now, hold up. Hold up. Can I use the peg? Can I use your power KT? in the peg KT? I don't think that will deal with you. Mm. KT, stay strong. He's stay not strong. in me. He's in the leg. But remember, right, but the leg's attached to, to you. So just carry me. I will be in that leg so fast and so hard and you have oh, so much no. power. Alright, man, no. you ruined it. I was tempted. I really was. <laughs> and then you made it weird. How so weird? Yeah, yeah, in. Listen, yeah, it's over. It's done. There, it's cool. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'll shut up. You Super made great. it weird. No, I said Gabriel. Oh, Gabriel. Okay. Yeah, because <laughs> Gabriel isn't here. <laughs> Why is it backwards? <laughs> Liar. Like and subscribe. But it's back. Another uh, charisma saving throw. A crit saving throw? Charisma. Charisma. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to roll. Crit crit saving throw. That's a nice one. 11. Plus? No. No, That was was it. it. Oh, (laughs) Oh, no. Man, we are fumbling through this. We're going down. I need to go on in on my friends. Maybe I should go back to the computer. Some people started rolling. No, they're both pretty bad. (laughs) And we'll just keep on rolling. That's it. I know Gingris. How about I tell you where your friend is? Honestly, I've been doing this shit for years. There's two of me going around right now. At this point, I'll find him and I find him. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. You know what? Both of you are still going to help you if you fucking if you swear. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, man. I didn't. Now I really don't want to help you. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, injuring the body that you're inhabiting right now is probably not the smartest idea. True. Because I mean, like, like he hasn't fucked a human before. Who? Gangrene. Gangy. Good old oh. Gangy. Well, fuck it. Well, I mean, you know, who hasn't? But. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me. Boosta, he seems celibate. I don't fucking know. Peter He's loves hot pockets. <laughs> Seeing as how Boosta does have this, like, future daughter, I'm going to say maybe not. <laughs> I, I, I feel like she's a fake. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't seem real. Like, we know Boosta. He just seems like an old alcoholic. What am I rolling? Roll We're gonna work on thing. that. But um, that's right. Right. I'm, I'm, now, if you know what, leave it. I like the downward spiral. <laughs> Makes me feel better about myself. Oh shit! 
What is it? It's a two. I'm not. I want to re-roll. Am <laughs> <laughs> I not doing the three rounds yet? <laughs> oh god. Um, these are bad luck die. I don't want them. <laughs> I love them. I don't it's have the die you roll. gave me. I don't want them. All right. Do, would you I'm like to pick of any of mine? <laughs> Sparkle. So, finally, as, as you're having, you know, that lovely conversation with the teepling, the teepling goes so smiley. Sorry, not smiley. Oh, my <laughs> God. No, that's oh, the, Lord, oh, 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 Lord. God. <laughs> that's Therius' uh, there we go. There's man, the wall. too. There's the wall. <laughs> so smiley. God, Why did you already fucked it up? <laughs> what? For some reason, I hate that you called me that. <laughs> Uh, serious. How about we make a devil's deal? You made one before, why not make another? What's Let that? us share this body. We okay. can't hear this, right? Correct. This is all in her. What do I get out of it? You get, you know, power, everlasting life, being having devil's power, you know, maybe some devil wings, what I'm here yeah. to. Can I fly with them? You wings? can't fly with them. <laughs> Anytime I want. Anytime you want. And are they really cool looking? They are super cool. And I live forever? I can prolong your life as much as I can. Okay, and so <laughs> what do these powers include? Uh, wings, uh, increase on your magic. Uh, you have the ability to devour other people's magic and put it into yours. I just asked if you shared the body so I can have control over it every once in a while. You get control over it? Well, that is what sharing means. You know, as much as I want a set of wings, I'm going to have to rely on my team and say Look, no. Look, they're a bunch of dicks. They don't really care about you. I, hey, there are you're, a couple. Just a, you're just a piece of meat who takes hits. There are a couple of those teammates <laughs> that I believe think that. Mainly Booster. As, as, por- <laughs> as a portion of the world turns into an elephant's head. <laughs> <laughs> um, but my girl, Beryl, and my girl Talbot are always there for me. I'm just playing you. No. Ladies stick together. Sisters forever. Do you think they like that you made a deal with their pick? Mm. They resent you for it. Hey, I did what needed to be done. I stepped up. I got us those men. And you got me. Right. And now I'm going to get rid of you. <laughs> you know what? How about this? I'll tell you a secret. And we can share this body. It's a really good secret. I'm not getting rid of you. I'm just relocating you. <laughs> yeah, I'm just putting in something prettier. Um... I won't. So she admits that a, a rock is pretty on her. I just hurt your friend. Want to establish that that she is openly admitting that a rock is pretty on her. I will not hurt most of your friends. Who's on the list of friends you'll hurt? Daryl. Well, gluttony does not like me. <laughs> I've done. I've done some shit to gluttony. <laughs> Possibly, maybe, if you're okay with it, have it. Albert has also done some shit to gluttony. <laughs> the only person I can't do that. Those are my. Those are my How about I just fuck with Booster? Booster? Yeah, just Booster. Just fuck with him. Oh, that's so tempting. And you get to know a secret and have the wings and powers. The wings are so great. Right? Just as agree to this devil seal. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna tell you. You oh, keep no, reeling me in, this, but then you keep calling it a devil's deal. See, we're learning things about her, Boosta, because now we know she's jealous of you flying. You do love to fly. Um, there, no, I can't do that. No. Alright, just let you know, I gave you a fair chance. I gave you an opportunity. <laughs> Don't be mad when I take over then. I like you better than the other one. So. Yeah. He doesn't even know her name. No. <laughs> the other one. No he, deal. He refer, he did refer to the other one. He didn't actually say her name. No deal. All right, so let's get the rolling started then. All right. Wait, wait. Can I <laughs> so everyone else side will see um, half 
serious, and then half lucky when it's just a purple half of her. Okay. Is um, is it gonna be like a Yu-Gi-Oh battle? Yeah. Sure. Hell yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so when that was all going on and we were outside of that, like the way that I saw the magic kind of heading towards KT, did I see her? Wavering, like was it like shifting more her, more it, more her, more it? It looked like it was just kind of like a stalemate of her just talking to herself, but not saying any words. No situation in which I might throw a magic slot to make this easier on her, right? The way I did for KT. Uh if you notice things going sideways, possibly. Do you want me to roll to see if I notice anything going sideways? Uh, you, uh it's digitally. Since you are in front of her, you can visually see it. Alright, so... Right now, it is even. It's 50-50. But the more purple she gains, you can just assume that she's in green. Okay. Um, <coughs> can I pump a spell slot into her now to, to give her some kind of edge on this roll? Uh, since we haven't started yet, no. no. Okay. She at least needs to complete one of the things. Okay. Um, because that means that magic is focused mainly on her. And you might be able to slip a magic in. Okay. Um, all right, so which one do you want to do first? Flat rolls, percentiles, or your charisma saving throw? Flat roll. Flat roll. All right, so this is the flat D20. Mm. You need to do the best mm-hmm. two out of three. Is it this one? <coughs> all of those are D20s. Oh, okay, perfect. Okay. Now remember, if I lose, I can request to do it again, but this time you, were, <gasps> you can choose whether you have advantage or disadvantage. Okay. Same with you. All right. Ready for this? Nope. <laughs> Three, two, one. Seventeen. That twenty. God damn it! Shit. It's only one. You're good. All right. So we'll go ahead and. Good rolls. Good. Rolls. Yeah, that was really yeah, good. Rolls. Really I good. saw a seventeen. I was hopeful. Then I looked over and saw that twenty. Like, fuck. <laughs> fuck you, God. <laughs> It's always great when a DM, like, does a roll-off and just nat 20. Like, bitch, challenge me! (laughs) It's one thing if it was, if you just said nat 20 behind the screen. It's another thing when I am sitting here and can confirm it, and I hate it. (laughs) I hate that I can confirm it, because I know you're not just bluffing the roll. I'm like... You guys are Alright, ready, Smiley? Yep. Three, two, one. This is so tense, I'm just eating my way away from this. 17? 18. Wow! Oh. All right, so this it's would, just one of those places where I can see the magic. <laughs> this would proclaim the winner. Would you like to go again? Now, remember, if you do, I can choose to have an advantage on me and give you disadvantage. We're going to lose this one. You're going to lose this one? Yeah. All right. Mm, I'm so, so, this is so tense. I'm just going to You guys can feeling. see now that it kind of shifts about 15%. 65, 35. <laughs> Around there. Uh, so now this one is the percentile, right? Yes. All right. So how this is this going to work? If if you guys are aiding her, what you will do is off of the percentile rolls. Thank you. Ooh, you will be able to roll um, the the percent uh, the d10 and add that to her roll. Okay. So if we if I get twenty five, she gets twenty twenty. You can spare uh, spend a spell slot and increase or key point to increase as well. If you do it, you're not able to do it again for this whole thing for the whole percentile. It is a one time thing. That also goes, but for me, I'm also allowed to do the same with your spells slots. Oh my god! Says, All two spell slots. Correct. Oh my god. So if I wanted to, I could waste one year since, unfortunately, you did lose all the wisdom saving throws and this one didn't have control of your body. But I, I, the same way, I can only do it once. All right. All right. You ready? Yes. This is one of, we're going to do things a little differently here. We're going to roll one at a time. Would you like to roll the first one or would you like me to roll the first one? I'll roll first. Okay. 70. 70? That is a 65. I'm going to spend one of your spell slots. So you get to roll it? Add a d10 to it. Mm. So all I need to get is greater than 5. 
That shit, that was really close. <laughs> Which I got a six. So I beat you by one. That's Unless... Nice. Hear me out. Can Gangrith spend one point of his lay on hands in order to... No, because he has 45. No, so le- legitimately one point. <laughs> I'm going to deny that one. Okay. <laughs> um, but KT, or you guys do see a little struggle. Would you guys like to... Now, you only do this once. So How many more times you got to do rollies? You got two more rollies. But if I win the next one, it's done. So you're risking her winning the next one. And it uses a spell slot for me to roll? Oh, uh, yes, you add a d10. Just a d10. And you really just need to get higher than one. Yeah, I know. I know I can make you win this round, but you got to do it two more times, so winning this one won't necessarily... But if I win this one and to kind of be beat her the next one, the D10 won't even matter. Like if she rolls like a 27. Yeah. And he rolls, rolls like an 80. Eight. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do it. Okay. You just make it a win because I can't just, roll zero. So. Let's see. Four. Okay. You will win this one. <gasps> 74 versus 71. <laughs> <laughs> that one was really close. Peter. Stop being mean. <laughs> I'm not to Stop rolling well, you bastards. <laughs> Look, I missed you guys one entire combat, okay? <laughs> one full combat, I got nowhere near you guys. That's see. true, that was funny. <laughs> this is great. Wow, dude. That. that was fun. You just got. You gotta, you gotta let that go. He's just <laughs> mad because I got rid of his dragon battle. <laughs> He's just mad because I suplexed him. Right. This time. He's mad because his dragon couldn't yeah. get my 25 AC. <laughs> <laughs> Roll the dice, Dad. 37. You got that, you got that. Oh. Now, there is a possibility because, oh no, because KT. What's KT? Uh, I will, so this is victory, right? <laughs> but if I roll out this time, then KT would like to use two key points to add a D10. Just single 10. So you, I beat you by how many? 13. Over t- 13. Oh, 13? Yeah. Oh, 37, 24. 37, 24. Oh. Yeah, it's more than 10. You okay, so I, I heard the... Alright, so I win one. Oh, good. <laughs> no, I'm not. Hey, see, now if you didn't do that, I know. Last one, I would have won this one. That's right true. Oh. So now you at least gave... Alright, this time will be you. You want to change 10s? I'll give you different sides if you want them. Should I? It's up to you. Do you feel as lucky or do you want to switch? I'm so nervous, y'all. <laughs> look here. Look here. Yeah, if you want to switch out your tens one here, if you want to switch out your ones one here. Oh, oh my this god. Is right. yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it's, this is the most barrel thing that could happen <laughs> in this situation. Those are bad Ooh, okay. rocks. Here, let me give you my good <laughs> These rocks are better. <laughs> These rocks have been hey, twins. I'm going to move it to your other Okay. <laughs> Okay, so this is a one. Yeah, that's a, it's, I did ones and tens. Tens. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Or tens and hundreds or whatever. Right, come on, serious. <gasps> Luck of the demons. Ninety-nine. Seventy-one. Okay. Woo! Okay. That is a good that's a good number. That's up there. Call it on It's like Family Feud. Good rolls. Good answer. Me <laughs> two. Two. Zero, and I was like, oh, please let it be the zero. Oh, <laughs> Travis that was a fight really high. I've been pissed. My rocks did that. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. All right, now it is. All right, a, I quit. I quit. <laughs> it is right down the middle now. Uh, this is your Satan throws. As Carol throws right? a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Throw a rocket at him. <laughs> That's a joke that you don't get. <laughs> now we will do the same thing. Uh, one at a time, I'll go first this time, you go second, uh, and then you go first. One of our former second. players played a Kenku uh, This will be off of your And I tried to give him boat. a light cantrip for Charisma, you put light one, on a plus, plus rock, and I one, threw it by a tunnel at him. Five. Yeah, plus five. The bitch didn't I, catch I it, half of that, so I hit him. Be a plus three. And then okay. so you it did damage, and because I was like, oh, come on, I wasn't going to get at him, Peter doubled it. So this teeny tiny little pebble that I threw at him did like I also expect you to Jesus Christ. And, and it was a joke for the entire time he was in the group. <laughs> uh, it says, you know, they are aiding you. If they aid you, they also aid me. Okay. Because now this is based off from your actual stats. 
And since you share your body currently with gluttony, I get half of whatever they ate you with. Got you. <clears throat> So, just like that, be aware. Mm. So, if they roll a seven for you, I get a four. Gotcha. Okay. If, if they roll a six, you get a three. Correct. Et cetera, et cetera. We got this, fam. Are you doing to, 20s or 20s? Yeah. yeah. If I choose you, I can just, I got this instead one. of the adding, I can take advantage and send. <sighs> okay. Alright. Come on, I'll roll demons. first on this one. So plus the three, I give you some half of you. Uh, 19. God damn it. So uh, you have a five. Around. You get a plus five. You get your full thing. So you need, need to You're feeling match it. it. You're feeling 14. it. You're feeling it. I'll get a 15. Three. Ah, oh, shit. So I win this one. <laughs> Look, I need you to roll the stone one that says fuck you. So when you win, <laughs> you can one? say fuck you. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> At this time, you roll. All right, all right. And you get a plus five to this. No, 14. 14? Ooh, okay. Okay. So 19. Oh, Did you roll a 14? No. Well, I need I a high nine. Nine. Because we tied. It's just as it's going Ha! Five. Yay! Two of the die. <laughs> <laughs> this is so fucking intense. Like, no, I did not so expect it to be as... <laughs> so now you would hear from Gluttony. Alright, alright, how about this? How about this? How about this? You're doing great. You're doing great. Travis, this is usually on you, and I'm not feeling this. It's so loud. How about this? How about this, buddy? I'm getting two set of wings. I've done this many a time. Infinite power <laughs> in your own kingdom. Mm. And I'll tell you a secret. In her head? It's all in her head. Okay, so the sets of wings. You know, could they be like, since I am a demon, like an angel's wings, and each set has different powers? Yes. It's really tempting. Demon will say anything to get you to oh, do what you want. Please inside check this demon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not there. I know I can't hear it, but I'm just. I'm not going to say what you say what you just said. I know, but she seems Please, like she's just like, just inside check this demon. demon. <laughs> um, or I will write my secret on a piece of paper, hand it to you, and if you look at it, I get advantage on the next roll. Advantage on the next roll. What does the secret, like, what subject is it about? That's what a secret is. Not going to answer that question. Uh, with this kingdom, where would it be? Wherever you want it to be, sweetie. Wherever I wanted it to be. It could be tallest, it could be wrapped like that. I don't care where it is. Now, if I do this and I share my body, are we going to fight Cthulhu? Oh, of course we will. I don't sound very convinced. She you want me to go slap Lusa? Ooh, icing on the cake. Like, you know what? Oh, you know what? How about this? I slap him with a dirty fish. <gasps> I've already done that. Two dirty fishes. Dirty <laughs> fish eye. You know, how about we make him bathe in dirty fishes? Ooh, and then I can slap him with. And then you can slap him. All right, this kink is getting really weird. <laughs> I'm gonna say no. <laughs> well, there's a reason Gluttony chose Carter. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it was like it was Look, a weird thing. We, we, and, um, I just want to say we don't shame pescatarian <laughs> sexual voices. <laughs> It's the sexuality. Look, I'm not against. Fu- uh, never mind. I just, I want to know. I want to know what Bard is traveling with the Leonins. I keep looking over at Talbot, and he's just like, <laughs> she's, she's having one of these, and I'm just like, what Bard is traveling with the Leonins? I want to know where she's at right now. We're such a weak It's actually boots are wrapped. I'm up on the couch with my feet on the couch with my box of briefs and who's there? He's just rearing up his stomach, going, it's gonna be a Ravnica <laughs> thing. That's why Talbot's having such a good time. <laughs> I'm, I'm just as much as I want wings. <laughs> yeah. How about this? I tell you my secret, but if you are to repeat my secret in any way, shape, or form, I automatically come back to you. If I repeat the secret in any way, shape, or form, tell them at all, I will instantly break out of the rock of the rock with your assistance and come back to you. And come back to me. What? Counts as telling, like right. 
if they know or find out what I tell you in any way, shape, or form. And it could not be my fault. Correct. Oh. I do love secrets. I know you do. They're like... And I don't want to feel like I'm in gold. prison in this commitment. Those secrets you know are like gold. Is. Like gold. I know. More precious than gold. I know. Ooh. They don't even need to know about this. It's all in the secret. <sighs> but if it's a secret about like something stupid, then I like wasted this whole deal. Like, well, unfortunately, I can't define what you may think as stupid, stupid. unless I tell you, but I can't like tell if it's you like, it would be a secret. I like to put <laughs> no, it's not that. wasabi up my nose or something. No. You like to put wasabi up my nose or something? Give it a look. What would you like? Yes, no, and so? Um, if the secret gets revealed and you do come back to me, is it going to be like our relationship is now? Yeah. We'll just be back to this. I mean, you don't have to be making me again. But I can if I want. Correct. You just have to go through this whole process again. I also keep making a deal. Ooh. Ooh. However, you will aid me in getting out if the secret is spilled. And it can be spilled. It doesn't have to be spilled by me. If they find out somehow... Mm. No. Okay. Let's roll it. <laughs> this, this, yeah. literally, this roll right here yeah, determines <laughs> whether or not you continue to play as therapist. Stop it, Peter. <laughs> so much pressure. Right, you go first. I believe in you. <laughs> it's a three. <laughs> Plus five. Eight. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to get one of, of six. I need a six or higher to aid this, to win. Watch this video that one. Watch this video that one. Wait, but wait, wait. They can help me, right? Correct. Okay. The only person that can. Did you ever see it? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. Okay. You want me to tell you? Yeah. It's in that 20. In that 20. Jesus fucking Christ, Peter! Alright, <laughs> so. Hear me out. Alright. I, I know I'm not here. Correct. I know I'm not here. Alright, well, I gotta take my headphones off a little bit, Travis. The gift that I was given by the <laughs> Okay. Can I use this to save her? I understand I'm not here, so if you say no, I 100% agree. Well, I want want Baron to come back. Okay. Before we do anything else. Because I will, like... So, Beryl. Did you lose again? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Before you find out how she lost, she rolled a three, plus five is eight. I rolled a natural 20. Plus three, which is 23. Now you can aid her. (coughs) And what I would allow is if you (coughs) pump in more magic, I will not get the benefits of it. So if you just pump in one first level spell, I'm going to get the benefits out of it. If you pump in two first level spells, I'm going to get... I don't whatever. have any of those <laughs> available anymore. What spell levels do you have left? Uh, I have a third level spell slot. Is that your strongest? No. I have a, I have one second, one third, two fourth. If you pump in a fourth level spell, I will not get the benefits of it. But I will only let you... Know. I also, technically, also, <clears throat> yeah. technically, have a necklace of prayer beads that allow me to cast two six-level spells and a fifth-level spell. <laughs> okay, I will... Technically, technically, because Windwalk is a six-level spell and it's in my prayer necklace. I have four key points left. <laughs> Gingrith is always lay on hands. <laughs> what if I I make you a deal? DMs oh, like deals. I do like deals. I will. You allow me to cast the sixth level spell slot from my bracelet. My, I use it as a bracelet. Necklace. It's a necklace, but I use it as a bracelet. Um, I will permanently give up planar ally. I don't know what that is. 
That this, you can literally summon like a basically a celestial to come and fight for you. Oh, well, honestly, because the rules on this thing are eight miles long, and I don't want to read it. It's, it's a long thing, but basically, you can summon like either like a celestial or like a um, a pretty much a yeah. higher deity creature, like basically creatures that you could do either packs or like yeah. like cleric deals with, like. Those type of things to fight for you for like an hour. Shit. Yeah. It is. A, it is a very complex spell, and I used it all of one time as my life cleric. In this punk bitch, fucking saved my ass. She was like a punk celestial that literally saved my life as my my level twelve life. <laughs> oh. Because that's technically not a spell slot that I have as a cleric, but what I will. I will. Take that bead off and chunk it at her. So that I no longer have it. It's a very powerful spell. It is. I, that's why I'm, I'm thinking about this. Because... See, if he does all his lay on hands... I got, I got I'm not losing another friend to this bitch. Oh, okay. <laughs> I gotta do this in my head. Okay. <clears throat> please, please... Please hold. Someone will be with you in a moment. Oh. <laughs> I didn't have my headphones on, so I couldn't hear you, Travis, but I could see you doing that. I was like, what's he doing? <laughs> okay. So, if I allow it, that's all three of you helping at once. With your condition of six level spell, KT's four key points, and Gangrus's D4. I will let you roll a D12. Okay. Whatever you add will go on to her five, right? Eight. Eight. Eight will go on to her eight. So if you max the 12, still don't roll again, though. I know, no, I'm just getting it my thing back. give it up to a 20. 20. Could I, instead of rolling a D12, could I just give her advantage to roll her 20 again? <clears throat> Good. You. Uh, if you do decide to do that instead, she'll roll with the damage. But then, whatever is the. Uh, because then I'll add KT to add a d6 to your roll, and then Gangrus a d4. But I will get half of what Gangrus puts in of the d4. I think, I think y'all should roll. This, the thing, you want. Do you want to give her advantage, or do you want to do the d12? I think you'd have a better shot at advantage. Okay. Because if I roll a d12 and roll a 1, that's... That's fair. That's a waste. Yeah. That is a waste. Because I'd have to... In order to make a difference, I'd have to roll a 12. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay. I think it'd yeah, be easier. True. It'd be easier if you just have advantage and re-roll your, your 20. Okay, let me see those dice again. <laughs> now, are you okay with giving up that spell? Yeah. Yeah, I just won't have planar ally anymore. It's one that I will eventually get back myself if we ever, well, we won't ever make it that high as a, as a group. You said we're, we're ending at this level, right? Unless you guys need the challenge. Yeah, so I will, I'll never have access to the six level spells anyway, so. Alright. So she is pretty much giving something really powerful in order to hate. I hate this bitch. You're fine. Now you have to, <laughs> you have to be a 20 30. There's no so, way. Because there is a way. Um, because you have a plus five. So, so plus five, get, 18 or higher. That does not include the bonuses you will get from both KT and Gangrus. Yeah, you're going to have a six and a four to add to that. Okay. Well, a, a, a dice, six and a four. A, okay. a die six and a die four. Yeah. Correct. Okay. As the uh, old people would say. <laughs> okay, so. There is a way to win. <laughs> also, let me just read the, the beginning part to you. Oh, Jesus. You beseech an otherworldly entity for aid. The being uh, must be known to you a god, primordial, a demon prince, or some other being of cosmic power. Okay, oh, god. Yeah. Yeah, like. That entity sends a celestial, an elemental, or a loyal fiend uh, of it to you, idea. making the creature appear in unoccupied space within range. Basically, uh, like, yeah. I as like a warlock of Orcus. Orcus would send his right hand man to help me out. Like. <laughs> Like, that's how powerful Planar Ally can be. All right. 
All right, Smiley, are you ready? It's a lot of pressure. You can do it. Under the surface. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you don't want to be stressed because if you get stressed and you're going to get dehydrated, then you're going to blow it and you're going to die. <laughs> that was Natural one. Oh, roll it. You have advantage. You can re roll. That was an advantage. Oh, that no. Was the advantage, a three and a one. Oh, my God. Can I give up something? <laughs> can, can you I? give up something? Let's make a deal. Oh, God. <laughs> no. Now remember, both Booster and Talbot are going to have to do something similar to this for the souls of their children. Jesus. Do this all over again. That's why I gotta sleep. Same. Because <laughs> I am out of key points. And being is out of everything. everything. Uh, we all gotta sleep. Then we'll catch up to you guys. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, gonna roll again. I'm gonna do something because obviously I don't want you to lose this character, but I'm also gonna keep the continuity. Whereas I need Talbot. Uh, Busta, she rolled me a percentile. Yeah. Hear me out, though. If she fails this, and the demon takes control of her, she's not going to be able to break out of the magic cage, right? Uh, her soul will technically go into that ring. You're saying you're... Yeah, yeah, into the stone. We could sleep and try again tomorrow. <laughs> it's true. Valid? 45? <laughs> That's D and D for you. Look, baby. I hate when we do this. We've had to do this with with Travis's character so Damn. much, and I just I hate it. <laughs> I hate everybody. Uh, bear one hundred percent out. Fuck me. You got all my percent. I do. <laughs> I mean, I mean, there's nothing I can do. I just, I just I, rolled the forty-five. I don't know what it means. One, oh, one thing I do like about using DM is that you use percentiles a lot. That was one thing I didn't use a lot in my campaigns was the D10s. Eight. God <laughs> I'm dead. Percentile. I will roll you a percentile in just a second. But apparently, do I clicked off my own goddamn character. I am fucking idiot. idiot. Everything right now for you. Alright, I'm gonna roll this percentile and it's gonna be the greatest percentile in the world. The percentile that I fucking rolled is a. Fuck. Come on. Yeah, you're fucking killing me. You're killing me here. I'm I'm stalling. I'm stalling. You wanna roll some actual rocks? No. (laughs) Just because I already have it down here. 59. Wasn't a I feel like I feel like we didn't beat whatever number he rolled. <laughs> <laughs> that oh. face. It's supposed to be sixty nine. I know. Actually, if you did roll sixty nine, I would have given it to you. <laughs> <sighs> well, then I totally rolled yeah, a sixty nine. I got eight. <laughs> well, I got three. Go, go ahead and roll your uh, your D four and your D six to add to it, um, because they did waste their magic on that. Actually, hold on. Uh, Katie, do you want to waste your key points to give her, um, 86? On the natural one? No, on the... Oh, okay. Eight. Eight. The last little bit that I have? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Alright, roll a d6. I'll roll that d6. You can roll a d4. I'll roll that d6. We'll see what... I rolled a four. Twelve. Two and d4. Two, so... Fourteen. Fourteen, so I am up to... Okay, so, oh, geez, You're geez, at 25. Let me come back then. Then I was hoping he would say something quick. Uh, give me a second. What's up? I am pulling everything in my ass for this. What about spell slots on the shaman? Uh, shaman is keeping this thing active. Oh, I, I so want to do something, but I can't. Yeah, no, you're not there. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, sorry, okay, for something something different, Talbot and Lucifer will get to the hell. This is not what I originally asked for, but this is for something else. 
What up? 86. That's more like it. Okay. Uh, sorry. Hello, chat. 86. Hi, chat. <laughs> Hi, chat. Talbot, you feel a chill down your spine. Aww. You know Gluttony's winning. Gluttony is about to win. Uh, your friend. You, you, I, you get that feeling, but you can't confirm it. Sure. But you know what it felt like when Iris almost lost. You just get that. I, I, approximately how far away oh, am I? Oh, you guys are miles. You guys are miles away. Miles? At least if it's two miles away. Um, is there anything I can do from where I'm standing in order to quell or suppress the, the power of... Uh, the power of gluttony from here, or do I need to like go there immediately? You don't know. Uh, this is this. Uh, before I say more, Busta, you do see how the heads just break down to a cold sweat. Shoot, mate, what have been come to bring my <laughs> sugar and tea? And... <laughs> What's wrong? Um. <sighs> I think gluttony's winning. I'm not sure, but I don't feel that. Serious? <laughs> Swear to the gods. You're dying. Um, I will kill you, bring okay. you back to life, and kill you again. Uh, <laughs> Shoot that. Handle your magic have, into the uh, rock. So, <laughs> you, you need a ride, or what, what are we doing here? Um, You're not confident in your speed to get there in time. With a sixty sec, with a sixty foot flying speed and dashing, she's at that like ninety nine thing of minutes to death. And unless you can get there like instantaneously, but you know you were told to can, leave. Can I call upon Hickory, Dickory, and Doc? Since they are left the hammer, so they are presumably still in the area. Because they, I don't think they've come with me. No. Uh, well, they did travel with you guys. I know. <laughs> what up? <laughs> I would like Juice. to try and call upon Hickory Dicker and Doc. You feel weight on your head? What up, what up, what up? Hey, um, Russian. Remember the tiefling woman? The one that kept giving uh, me shit? Yeah, the one who's smoking hot. <laughs> yeah, that one. Um, you want to keep her smoking hot, right? You don't want her to die? Hmm. We could sell her organ on the black market. Yeah, but like... Not if a demon has it. We could, but not if a demon has it. If we kill her ourselves, that's a different thing. Can't we kill her ourselves? We might be able to. But if... We can't do that if the demon takes over her first. <laughs> not long is she here? Where is she? Still back at the camp. Ah. And she's um, currently dying. Ah, that sounds like a her problem. But if we don't save her, we can't sell her organs. Are you giving us permission to sell her organs? I am giving you permission that if we were to kill her, that you could sell her organs. So we get to kill her? <laughs> if we kill her. No, we don't like this if. No, we do not. I don't like ifs. If we are around when she dies, I give you permission to sell her organs. We'll be back. <laughs> we must discuss. Question that I have: I have to mention door prepared. How many uses of that do I need to use to get there? <coughs> what is the the distance on dimension door? Five hundred feet. Two miles. <laughs> Five hundred feet is a tenth of a mile. Oh Jesus! Oh no! A lot. It uses a lot. Ten times at least. I, I think I just found a way to save you. Oh goody! But this does evolve you rolling one more time. God fucking damn it! Of course it will. Can I dump both you my channel to get rolling? Come on! 
I will let you roll one more time. We're playing D&D, &D, baby. Because of what just popped up on my phone. Shenanigans. Shenanigans. Tom Fool. She's got all her spells. No, oh, I don't want to make done. that. We're going to save It's too late. You it's done. A advantage. So you can roll 2d20. Is that all my spells and my channel divinity, <coughs> or just my spells so I keep my divinity? Any divine magic you have. Yeah, okay. You are spellless That's, for the day. So you can roll two d20s, and you will still add that plus eight. eight. Fourteen? Six. Plus, plus six. Plus, six. six. plus five. I like the fourteen so, better. Plus eleven. Actually, I will let you either choose a plus four or a plus two to keep. The plus four or the plus two to keep? Correct. So in, in total, they equal six. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you have a four and a two from two separate channels. Do so you have to drop one of them? Well, I'll keep the four. Yeah, I'll keep the four. Okay. So since you kept the four, I get the D four. That's cruel. Yeah, it's better than getting the D six. A plus nine? To this roll, a plus nine? Which is your five plus the four. Okay. Mine just goes up by one. Well, didn't yours already go up by one? He gets it, like, he's getting it again because he's giving it to us. Okay. So the DC is 19. Uh, so the DC is 25. She has a plus 9 to it, right? Yeah. Right, so, uh, 14 or higher. 14 or higher. You get to roll twice. Twice. Pick okay. two. <laughs> Pick two and points. I'll tell you exactly what happens and why. You get to tell what? I'll tell you what happens. Just, just after oh. That's one. Woo! Natural fucking 20. Oh, yeah. I'm not dying! <laughs> oh, jeez, what so happened? I'm so glad oh, you God. responded in time. <laughs> I was trying to, to let my players be fair and everything. I, I, in these circumstances, obviously I don't want you to be the character. Right. But also I'm going to keep my card in the If they did not agree to give up the things they did, and if people didn't roll the way they did, I'm unfortunately where it's just a good character. Yeah. Just story wise, unfortunately, it sucks. It's not okay. nothing against you. <laughs> but I want them to know I am not putting things in with you. It's the same thing when we go to them. They will have all these chances as well if I can make it related to story. Unfortunately, you took everything related to story that I can give. Yeah. Um, except for one thing, but when that becomes, we'll get to it. So as the ones in the tent with the skyline, and my friends who are outside, as you guys are thinking of a way, you two, both Talbot and Usa, see a storm coming. Well, look like a storm's are coming. And Sorry, I gotta do my old man thing. Lightning. <laughs> and as that lightning is coming and is hitting, and this storm is gonna be fast, you see a giant pair of wings. Fly over you guys, just bulging like the speed of sound. I'm sorry, is that a fucking dragon? <laughs> Everyone inside feels this massive wind just blows the top off of this tent, and you all can see this giant storm coming. But in you guys on the oh, ground, shit. just plant like just grows and everything. A uh, a ray from the sun beams down and hits the cage. A uh, lightning from the storm. Hits the cage as well. You succeed, and after the blinding light goes away, standing before everyone is Sanguine and Core. Sanguine! Whoa! Oh. Why am I saying? I, I, I can't remember. Has KT met Sanguine <laughs> you yet? Sa I think you met Sanguine. Or, no, no. KT never met Sanguine, but sanguine. No, uh, KT has Princess met Kenny. Kenny. Yeah, that Core era did. Yes. Is here. Uh, I didn't say he was Sanguine. You know, we're not having this again. Oh, Beryl is just all relieved. She just kind of like to the ground on her knees. She's just like palms up. She's just like, fuck, thank God. And you see the, <laughs> the rock is like flip flopping here and there. Yeah. And just like trying to make its way away from you guys. Saying so we'll pick it up. I have no clue who you guys are, but you're. I assume you're here to help, right? Oh. For the time being. Uh, For the time being? Here. Hold on to that. I gotta go say hi to someone. Sanguine flies off. Cole will stay there. You come up to you. Go, How are you feeling there? I collapse to my knees <laughs> and start sobbing. So, feel hug you. It's okay. You're you not did. alone there. You're like, you did sobbing. great. I'm glad we made it on time. What race is Cole? Uh, Furbo. 
her. That's why. She, she's like half giant, right? So she's like, yeah, what, she's like seven, seven foot tall? Seven, seven, yeah, yeah. yeah, she's like seven foot tall. <laughs> so she picks me up. Barrow, you did wonderful. And I don't think I had the pleasure. No, we met. Yes, right? Core? Yeah. Yeah, I've met Core. Hi, Geeky. Hi, Core. It's good seeing you again. Thanks. Um, as you guys see the thunder coming back, a lightning bolt strikes between Talbot and Lusa. And you just see in his nicely fashioned armor with a, what looks like to be a nice new hammer, Sanguine. I swear to God, it's just the penguin's right behind you. I'm going to hit somebody. He's not. <laughs> Thank the gods. Good to see you, Sanguine. How you been, buddy? <sighs> Busy. Uh, I felt a, we felt a disturbance. Um, and we did not want it to see. Unfortunately, we, I felt we can't stay for long. Like the, can you get? Can you take me there? It's fine. Cord, cord. I took care of it. Thank y'all. Holy shit. Oh, thank God. Wait, where are the where are Hickory Dick Green Dock boys? <laughs> we accept your deal. They already <laughs> figured it out. Um, but I we'll discuss the terms of my agreement later in private. Um. They, I, I whisper to them. They walk up to you, stack them, so take the device off your back. But I'm depressed. I'm mean, not like that. I need the ale. We got like that. Fuck. He's a walk off. That was my fucking ale. I was so happy. Calvin, it looks like you grown. Good though. That was the same way. Yeah. <laughs> busy busy reading. <laughs> and I see you copying me. Who wins? What, between the alcohol or the, 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 the strength? Both. Yeah, yeah. And the Warhammer. Oh, yeah. Mine lights on fire. Mine is lightning. <laughs> Touch tips. With our power combined. <laughs> <laughs> Boys. We start to we start to merge. <laughs> Fusion. Fusion. Ha! Oh. So I don't know what you guys been up to, but we will meet again shortly. <laughs> Pretty much this. Ah. Well, long story short, I played Uno with Cthulhu. Everything got fucked. Uh, we're building a war effort right now to try and stop Tiamat. Um, oh yeah, we tried to get the the demon out of that one. Uh, turns out y'all helped, so thank you. Um, anything else major I missed, Talbot? Um, oh, the fact that we killed our unborn children and the rings that we got from them turned out to be, uh, cursed from, uh, from Cthulhu. Oh yeah, that trying... one, uh, that's the, the trauma that I've been holding on. I think he's trying to repress that one, actually. We yeah. will unpack that later. Unfortunately, we can't stay long. I do like it core, but we will meet you guys at the war meeting. Sanguine. Yes. Be swift. Be safe. I always am. I only cause the trouble I enjoy. Try and be stronger than me. It's not that hard. So <laughs> <laughs> you think. And he flies off. Later, tips. <laughs> it, it, no, no, quite literally, it's not that. he He's made a... Oh, okay. Okay, oh, I'm oh, a oh, very strong boy. Now. <laughs> I love Cora. Cool. <laughs> if she can pick you up and barrel... I can't. I can't help her right now. I'm just. Okay. I don't have. I'm. I'm holding on to this stone as hard as I can. It's like let her rest, and everything will come back. Unfortunately, I can't stay long. Are you sure? Not for sure. I wish I could. Well, stay for a pot of tea at least. Sanguine's not back yet. As you say that. <laughs> Sanguine would not turn down a pot of tea from as me. As much as I wouldn't, we do gotta go. We also have things we need to take care of before the war meeting. So thank you for for showing up. Um, <laughs> impeccable timing still. I think Talbot's depressed. I can't tell. It's hard to read her. They've been through a lot, unfortunately. Um, you I was not with them for a 
hot minute, but... Luckily, they have you back. I can tell you, it's been rough. Just don't do what the first group mistake was. What was the first group's mistake? In fighting. Leander can tell you more of that if you're heading in his direction. We are. (coughs) Unfortunately, I cannot be there for you to discuss... Core will say. Cannot be there for you to discuss with my people, but... Takes off a little pen. I can grant you access to at least go inside. Thank you. When you enter the forest, just show them that, and they will at least let you meet with them. All right, so I know how a pendant from Core. Correct. All right. But other than that, um, anything you want me to pass along um, to your grandfather? Just let him know I'm well, and that I do care. Well. We do have business to attend to, but we will see you guys when the time is right. Hopefully soon. I don't like being separate from you guys. I miss you. Yeah, I miss you too. Do you know I got married? Congrats! I'm like, I'm going to talk about that soon. <laughs> I, I feel like that's something I definitely want to share before. It's like, I got married. <laughs> Welcome back. But, uh, we will see you guys later. And Cole would just plant and walk away. <laughs> And saying we'll go, she always does that, doesn't take me with her. Oh, this is going with her. Okay, so who is the tall guy? Oh, getting rid of the whole So you guys both rest, you are victorious. The only reason you are victorious is because Core rolled a 73 and Sanguine rolled a 74. Ooh. That is the only reason. <laughs> Who, did you roll it? No, I just matches them I, without any context. Well, we have to say this. Without talking awesome. to each other, I'm assuming they both rolled it. That's awesome. The DC for someone to help you was 90. Wow. Nope. But since those out of characters, story wise, well, pretty much the only ones that can get you with actual divine power. Yeah. So, so lucky there. Whew. Yeah, because unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, because I, for today's preparations, I debated teleportation circle, and I chose not to. So, that, so that's the. Even then, it wouldn't have been instantaneous. No. It would have taken me ten minutes to do it. Yeah. So we're all going to kind of speed up here because I want to make sure that or one, we get to one you guys, minute. and I want to finish you guys for this time. So the group will arrive a day and a half after you guys get to the next point. Oh, long rested. I'm gonna long <laughs> rested. But you're moving quite slowly. Oh yeah, that's fine. But eventually the group will be oh, shit. Long rested. Yeah. yeah, long rested. Take that. Take that sleep. Uh, you guys for the first day will only get half of your spells back and half of your key points. Uh, <coughs> after another long rest, you will get them fully back. Oh, gosh. Um, when we get back to Shaman and the leader, we'll be like, all right. You're part of the team. Are you two ready? Boy, me. Who would like to go first? Oh, wait. I don't... It doesn't matter if I have my hand up. <laughs> you? Like you possess? No. I just had my hand up. Sorry. <coughs> um, Booster. So since this is mainly transferring one soul or essence to your weapon, unfortunately no one else can really help. We will do the same thing you did with Sirius. Which one do you want to go first? I took the ring off, set it in front of me, take, uh, set my hammer right next to it. She'll separate them, but at least in a, like a wind tunnel a little bit, so it's like floating up in the air. Uh, druidic symbols here and there. <clears throat> you know, everyone able to watch Talbot go ahead and stand back just a little bit. And I, I, I back up uh, 120 feet. All right. All right, Houston. Which one would you like to do first? Is it yeah, tiles just... and flat rolls or whatever your... Let's go call it off of. Uh, flat roll. All right. You want to go first or me? I'll go first. It's okay. What was it? Oh. I 
think, like, there's there's a lot of emotions happening with Booster right now, and he's trying to like meditate and focus, but he can't. <coughs> it's okay. hard for him at first to break into the trance. Okay, I'll go first this time. That told you. It's going bad, you, Travis. <laughs> you see the, the ring floating and then just his magic from his hammer kind of just shining and everything. And you can see the, like, a shining spirit of an elephant and then Cthulhu. Mm. The shiny pull each other. Like, the spirit is trying to go into the hammer while Cthulhu is pulling it back. <laughs> I'll go first. Oh, no. Uh, 38. 72. Yeah! Yay! I think as soon as I see Cthulhu pulling her back, I like it instantly helps me like focus and meditate and like actually start. I go first attempt. Uh, seven. Sixty-five. Yeah. All right. One one. So you, so you know I'm gonna be doing something while this is going on. That's fine. Uh, so this, what is your con mod? Uh, good question. I think it's a five. <laughs> <clears throat> my con save or my con mod? You got one. Oh, I sh yeah, because that's what we went off of series, right? I think we went off series. Oh, so you know, is your yeah. Save con I was going to say, save. for serious, we went off of saves. Okay, so then I got four. Okay, so, question. She was in a box of magical neutrality. But he's not. Correct, because we're he is helping with his connection. Right. So we're at a distance, but we're not too far away, right? Correct. You guys are I'm not going to crawl on the floor well. this time. Okay. We've all been. Since he's not in yes, a box uh, of magical neutrality, and you guys are basing this on saves, right. would it be possible for me to cast Bless on him? <coughs> Because this is an experimental trial. Because right. uh, so in, in spell, Bless would just give him a d4 to add to whatever he rolls. But So this could also give Cthulhu a d4 to add. Okay. Or Cthulhu could go, oh, you're playing that game? All right, well, I'm going to add a d12. Mm. Uh, it's whatever the power is left in there. Because he's right now trying to fight that power with the bond of him and his daughter and him and his precious weapon. Mm. Um, you can try, but we don't know. Yeah. Again, in that case, I think... Beryl is going to take the time that you're doing this to um, herself kind of meditate and try to channel Morden a little bit yeah. and ask for Busta. spiritual help and guidance yeah. on yeah. that round. Busta isn't looking for help. I think through all of the pain and everything that right now, like if Busta's mindset is if he doesn't stop this now, it's never going to end. Yeah. So in that um, case, I'm just going to. Yeah. And he, I think Busta needs to do this on his own. Alright, uh, so you get a plus eight, I get a plus four, right. I'll roll the first seven. Okay. Nine. Eleven. I figured you were going to win that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Let's go gold dice. Thirteen. Uh, sixteen. Well, thirteen plus eight. Oh, so well, yeah, that was oh, 13 on the die. Right. Uh, so I should I, probably mention the bonuses. Yeah, that might help. <laughs> that might help a little bit. <laughs> um, I'm going to evoke another reroll. Okay. Uh, I will roll with disadvantage. So I'm rolling fight. You're rolling disadvantage, or? Uh, you're going to roll again. Okay. Uh, I am going to roll with disadvantage. Gotcha. Uh, 15. You are able to, at this moment, it's essentially kind of separated, but now you have to roll one last percentile. This would be how effective it is, or how much soul. Now, if you get a low number, you can stay at this point, but I would need to know how long you're staying here. So pretty much, it's either you choose a day, you'd be here for a day. Constantly focusing on until... Yeah. 
game tight. Yeah. Um, or if you do fail, if you, I say for this, you are probably looking <coughs> to get a solid. Well, obviously, a solid separation would be a ninety and above. Yeah. That would just be like complete nothing. Um, eighty and above will get you, you know, decent. Maybe a risk of this a little bit highly dot four. Sixty. Yeah. Oh, you know that that C range and anything past that. You're just, you know, who's not going to give up that easily. What do you get? A two? Mm. Shit. How long would you like to... As long as it takes. Okay. I, I truly, Busta does not care yeah. until... Until he can confirm that there is nothing left, he's going to stay in this box. Okay. Whether it's a day, a week, was, I, I truly don't think Booster cares. Was the Shaman would have to stay as well. Yeah. Uh, so for Talbot, uh, which would mean we won't be able to give Talbot, because the Shaman is, Sorry. unfortunately, at Busta, unless mm. Talbot would like to try to do the therapy. Well, I was... Doing, I was gonna do something while yeah. Booster was doing his thing because I wanted to do a ritual spell. Oh, it works. Um, in which the question I have: Do I have any knowledge of the go- of the goddess of Ioun? That would be your discretion. That Roll that religion character. check. <laughs> Roll a religion check would do it. <laughs> yeah, I, I would like to roll a religion yeah, check. Yeah, uh, I like how everybody gave 12. up on the crawling thing. <laughs> My is she much a known god? A well known god? I'm too old to be crawling on the ground. Is she in a play as well? Yes, she is. I will say she's got magic her. items named after her. Oh, nice. I'll say you know of her, but not too much. Um, so I put all my stuff out and I'm casting the, the ritual spell divination remind me what that does of course let, let me take one second to pull up the spell <laughs> um, div- I don't have that one prepared but it's something I can do there you go like All right, so with this, you uh, also see me um, uh, take uh, twenty-five gold worth of uh, worth of material, uh, which is going to be consumed uh, in in this spell. Your magic in an offering put you in contact with a god or a god's servant. You ask a single question concerning a specific goal, event, or activity to occur within seven days. You have to offer a truthful reply. The reply might be a short phrase, a cryptic rhyme, or an open. Okay, I will do uh, my best. It's hard to um, <laughs> Yeah, tear a cryptic rhyme out of you on the spot, buddy. Uh, yeah. Um, you want a cryptic rhyme? I feel I'm running out of time. And so that you know, the spell doesn't Have take into any, any possible circumstances that might change the outcome, such as the casting of additional spells or loss of or gain of a companion. I thought was that. So, so you ritually become a mind. So ritually, I'm gonna close my eyes. I have my. Legs, uh, <laughs> Crisscross applesauce, knowing that Ayun, the knowing mentor, okay. exists in the realm, the realm of the gods. Go, Ayun. The soul with the ring of my future child. Will I be successful in transferring the essence of the soul to my wand? (laughs) 
<laughs> Peter does a table flip. <laughs> uh, metaphorical table flip. Uh, uh, it doesn't take any into count any spells cast. So you, you see a kitchen, and in this kitchen you see a figure, and in this figure you see. And as you stand, damn, like you kind of just move in front of the figure, and you see yourself. Your figure has a knife and an apple. And you see yourself cutting it directly down the middle, having both apples fall evenly to each other's sides. One will fall right, one will fall left. That is my omen. <laughs> That's a pretty cryptic omen. You got a 50 50 shot, Talbot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what else you want that? I. Look, it's what I would have done. It's it, it's it's in character. It is. It is. And I'm a, and I'm appealing to what is probably in Talbot's mind the smartest and most intelligent guy. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, so do you not really, do you not wait. follow the dragon person? Uh, um, that's not the dragon is not a god. Oh, okay. It's not uh, a god. It's a dragon. So for you all, how long do you stay with Busa? How long do I? So Busa is. So here's here's the thing. Um, the reason I raised my hand is I didn't want to interrupt. Um. Because Shaman has to stay with Busta until he finishes his thing. Correct. So it's now... Having one. watched the Shaman perform the ritual, and as a cleric myself, would I be able to form the... You could try... I don't want to take over his, but I don't want to break it. But could I do tablets? You can try, um, but you don't... The, the answer never... No, the question never occurred. Is it because she's a druid? Or is it because she has divine power? Because I have stated there were those separate things. Yeah. And unfortunately, you cannot ask her at the criminal. Yeah. You go try. You by all means. Go, go for it. I was saying, because, like, Busa, <coughs> you know, Dominic made pretty clear Busa wants to do this on his own. So I'm not going to, outside of praying for help and guidance for him, I'm not really going to be able to help him. Yeah. Um, for that. Uh, so I guess at that point, I would. Uh, if it's going to be, if it looks like it's a stalemate, which it does, I'm gonna go ahead and pass out of that tent and go find Talbot. Um, well, this, this was out in the open. Okay, well I'll good, pass out of that area and go find Talbot, um, and explain to her that that Busta seems to be kind of like at a um, an impasse point where it might not be done soon. Um, and ask her if she wants me to try to do it. So we'll go ahead and just have you guys um, come together with the rest of the group and ask that question. Okay. So we can at least have you guys all there. You guys can still go play. Um, and then I'll have a question after you guys do that. So we'll say that both, Tal, uh, both KT and Therese will mm -hmm. follow Beryl to yeah. go over to Talbot and ask that question. Okay. Um, so Talbot, sweetie, are you busy? What is a barrel? And I will uh, start to pack up my things and stand up and face the group. Um, well, I don't know an awful lot about this ritual that we're performing on your rings, but it does look that maybe Boostus is going to take quite a while. Um, they seem to be kind of in a magical sort of stalemate right now. Um, so we might not be able to get to yours anytime soon. But I was watching, and I, I think I could, um, with a degree of accuracy, repeat what I saw, if you want to try ourselves. I have spent some time in meditation as to whether or not what we are attempting to do will be successful. Specifically, discussing with uh, Goddess of Bayund. Does she answer you? Because uh, <laughs> I talked to Moradin quite a bit, but he doesn't always respond. I mean, sometimes it's like one of those figured out puzzles. <laughs> what was divined was 
essentially it's a 50 50 shot i mean that's not the most terrible odds in the world <laughs> no it is um granted the message was cryptic but i could pick up what ion was trying to come across and I would feel more comfortable just waiting. All right. Well, uh, I would like a little help from everybody if it's something you guys would like to do. Um, Talbot, with your magical expertise uh, from the wizarding standpoint, and then uh, your guys' help, yeah. you know, with every little bit. Of you, I want to try to reinforce um, this stone a little bit. I'm going to put it um, in a ring. For you to carry, um, and I will, uh, with the DM's discretion, say that I worked on that for the two days that I couldn't really do my magic spells, um, and just try to. Uh, I want to see if we can't uh, reinforce the binding on the ring a little bit, like maybe because the metal at this point is not enchanted, but I'd like to see what we could do towards enchanting the metal um, to make the DC a little higher. For the demon to get out of. Oh, at least you get a disadvantage. Yeah. <laughs> so. Right. Uh, so the question would be guys is, uh, so Boosa would be able to roll again every four hours. Mm-hmm. How long do you guys plan on staying until he is successful? Oh, I'm not going to leave Boosta. We got to do the same thing for Talbot anyway, so it doesn't make any sense for us to go anywhere. Right. Uh, the tribe will, if Boosta is successful the next day, the tribe will get up and leave. They mm-hmm. just can't stay in one spot. They will tell you where they're going to go, uh, but it's up to you guys to make your way over there. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm not leaving. I'm, I'm not leaving. Yeah. Not leaving. Not leaving. Not leaving. Not leaving. Not leaving. Stuff. Hi, uh, who's it rolling? Oh, you got this. Absolutely sure you don't want no help over there, Another my dude. Four hours. So that you know, I will have tried to uh, give the shaman and boost a uh, jerky and water, as this is a very strenuous ritual. Uh, it looks like any, they, they just, they're so in the zone, they don't even know it's food or water. That's fine, I just, I just put it on the, next to them, and, you know, it'll be there when so they are ready. Alright, so, that puts you past the threshold of 100, so that is 16 hours. Uh, obviously, Cthulhu is not going to just give up without one final fight. Uh, I love so, that game. Right? I do like that. So we are going to do a roll up. There's going to be something that has to be stoned, so. Uh, go ahead and roll one more percent up. Sixty-three. Or 
Would you like to use your gift? I will. I, as I see the connection starting to break in, um, because he was starting to fight, I immediately reach for it and look towards the visage. Um, And in in very much like my personal voice, not Boosa's voice, like very different from what Boosa is. Switch our roles, um, which will obviously you win. It will confine her essence and soul to your weapon. Uh, and a ring will all the power go back in a ring, and the ring will shoot. Up. I just instantly just break down crying and start and like hold the hammer like a baby. It look, it's very weird from the outside perspective of like if you didn't know that my daughter's soul just got kind of ripped into it. But Boost, it's, Boost is just a mess. He's tired, he's exhausted, he's been out showing could be something I've seen. Yeah. Here's the thing. He's been fighting for her soul to be free. But maybe you don't um, show it to me. It's just something I saw. No. Well, that's just, like when it slipped down and you like tucked it. He's yeah. so and then I was like, I just drained from everything. Not just this excursion, but everything with Cthulhu. Um, As you and you do that, you feel a very warm and abrasive hug behind you. And a, a soft kiss on the cheeks. Saying, I love you, Dad. And that will be the final appearance of her for a while. You know that. Because of what it was said. Uh, after it's done, the it's right just friend. falls completely unconscious. The husband will go and pick her up. Unfortunately, Talbot would have to do yours another day. Says the captain. It took about 24 hours, right? Uh, 18. No, 16. 16. 16 hours. 16? Okay. So that means I would still have eight hours of sleep after that. Yes, but the druid needs to recover. And that's going to take a bit. That's fine. Uh, okay, so uh, if you want, we can do yours right now. We'll do it hopefully very quickly. Uh, sure, let's do it. Alright, so you guys will travel a little bit farther. You're just a day or so away from Leander at this point. Uh, you have come into, huh? you've hit as much as you can against other patrols of the different yeah, kingdoms. Are you managed to evade? Uh, <coughs> Peter, so you know, uh, I pumped two first levels into my ring of spells, swirling, mm-hmm. uh, mage armor, and shield. So that's fine. And, and then I slept and I get my spells back. Question um, for Barrel. Do you, do you have access to fifth level spells? No. Okay. No, because I took a level in Monk. Gotcha. Uh, so tap the same thing applies for you. We do so, a natural roll. This is the one I showed you, but I um, saved then something kind of similar. Like, oh. And then we do what is off of your intelligence modifier. That's something similar. We can do it in whatever order you all ready to be carved into it. We could do that what? We can do it in whatever order you choose. I would like to do the not the uh, straight D twenty roll first. All right. Uh, I'll go first on this one, and then I will do go second. Uh, and then we'll swap. Forget me not. Oh. All right. Oh. First one for me, and Dom will be here to confirm. And on the ground. rolling it on the ground. Uh, thirteen. <laughs> okay. Give me a second. Are you doing it over D and D Beyond or on your little all oh, real dice? I'm rolling real dice. Okay, you, I, I trust you don't have to take pictures every time. Oh, okay, you want to do that. <laughs> Who's calling us? Yeah. <laughs> I love that you're calling everyone. 
<laughs> yes, of course. Do we answer? Just do something. I'm joining. Fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, couldn't connect to your microphone or camera. Oh, oh no, that was yes, Lee. Hey, uh, sorry, Travis called the group. Oh my God! Fuck! Oh, look at that. There's so many people. <laughs> so many people. Someone answer or decline. Well, I don't know whose it is. is I it don't mine? know. It's yours. It's yours, yeah. How's it mine? Not yours. Your phone. Rachel's. Oh. Sorry. Oh, I thought you were. Hi, guys. I, I said you win. Hi, cool. Enjoy. Hi. I joined. This, this is such a cute Bobby moment. That's right. right. <laughs> Uh, thank you both, uh, Eli and Cor, you saved. You saved me! Wait, what? So, I- I'll explain that a little bit. Give me, give me a second. I gotta finish one of Kratos and then I'll talk to you guys. Uh, so second roll for the sets. I got a 15. I win this one. Next one. I got a 9. Say something, but I've been oh, muted. Sir, if you're saying stuff, we can't hear you. <laughs> All right. And it told me you did it. Hi, you want this? I muted everyone on mine. I thought it was like Discord. I muted. Right. It Ooh. popped up on my screen. It said Dominic muted uh, you. Yeah. Go ahead. This is the last one as well. This is the. I'm sorry. Do the last one as well. To your brother, congratulations. I rolled a 54 <laughs> on, on the third one. Yes, you beat me. But we're going to do okay, the last cool. set too. Okay, so this is plus my intelligence modifier. Yes, I get half of your intelligence. Uh, no, it's your saving throw. What is your saving throw? Oh, my saving throw is an uh, 8. So I get 4. Oh, if it's a saving throw, I have advantage. I uh, have advantage. It would, I rolled a 17, 18 for 26. Right, you win that one. Oh, yeah, you know the thing that we have to do with Iris and getting the demon out of her? That's what we're doing, Sangman. Except for this one is now in uh, my ring. So uh, uh, if you guys want to get... Oh, you can't hear me. 18 plus 8, 26. Fuck you! Uh, if you guys want to switch over to Discord really quick, I can explain what's going on. Switch over to Discord right. and he'll explain what's uh, going on. Travis, go, you won all three rounds. I don't think they can Um, Go ahead and... We'll go ahead and... Uh, so now we do the percentile one. Okay. Um, this one will be, you know, you, okay. you want to get through a hundred. <coughs> so go ahead and roll me two percentiles since you won all three rounds. Okay. Okay, this one is back to being color-coded. Uh, does it matter which order I do them? No, so as long as... far as what... It, as of like what's first and what's second? I just, no, it doesn't matter. Okay, because I have uh, two gold and two blue, so okay. that will separate them both. Oh my gosh, look at these names in our chat that we haven't seen in so I long. Have a, <laughs> I have a 43 and a 23. Uh, 66. So, uh, all right, so you are 66% of the way there. In your first four hours. Can I add three to that? No. Please. If you roll it. If you, you roll, roll a three, three, I will give it. On a D100 or just a D10? It'll be T10. <laughs> Damn it, six. Yeah. Damn it. Uh, right. So, <laughs> you first four hours to gain 66. 
Would you like to spend another four hours to get the rest of the way? Um, yes, but can I pump... Can I use... Uh, can I expend spell slots to uh, pump more power into me advantageously? Uh, whatever you do, it will do as well. If you pump power to yourself, it'll pump power into the ring as well, because Cthulhu's energy is binding to you because you've been wearing the ring. I'm gonna go the four hours without doing it first. <laughs> uh, um, you cannot go four hours without doing it. Okay, so I ha I would have to. Yeah. Okay, I I'm gonna test the water and do first level. Okay. Uh, what are you doing now? Is it one or is it two again? Uh, just one. Seventy-seven. I get a minus ten from it. She sixty-seven. Sixty-seven. Well. Wow. Yeah, with them. Right. yeah. Uh, so it only took you about eight hours, but you do the same. Um, your the essence transfer completely over to your wand. The ring just and it takes off into the sky, and you feel one last hug in front of you, and a I love you. I've Talbot has had enough experience with this to last a millennia. And that's what we'll call it tonight. As always, I'm your friendly neighbor Kurt, and then Mass Peter, thank you for joining us tonight. We yeah, a lot of have had that from a lot of yes. things have happened. Uh, which is next week, same time, same place. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah. as always, I'm your friendly neighbor, Dungeon Master Peter. Take care. Bye.